put regulations in place collapsed in Tallahassee after lawmakers couldn't agree on how many dispensaries the state should have. And that has advocates for the drug very concerned. News Channel 8's John Rogers shows us what this means now for medical marijuana users. This morning, Dr. Barry Gordon learned one of his patients died while waiting to get access to medical marijuana. My patients don't want to get high. They want to get well, and they should have the ability to get well. But now Dr. Gordon is still waiting on clear rules and procedures for medical marijuana in Florida. That's because the legislature failed to pass a marijuana bill this session. Very, very disappointing that they couldn't come up with a good plan at the state level. The proposed bill would have expanded access to medical marijuana, set aside more research funding, and put in new rules for educating law enforcement. But the House and Senate could not agree on the number of dispensaries, so the bill died. I'm frustrated with the, the legislature in Florida. They aren't really following the people's will. This woman, who did not wish to be identified, uses medical marijuana as part of her cancer treatments. She used to take cannabis in Michigan and is shocked at the system here in Florida. It's so far behind and it's very cumbersome. It's now the Florida Department of Health's responsibility to set up new rules and direct funding for medical marijuana. The agency held public workshops and an official said they're still reviewing the comments to come up with the best plan. I have great hope that things are going to get better. But maybe not real fast in Florida. John Rogers, News Channel 8.